So this is a method of filtering in the woods. We don't have a filter. This was just in the, the fire. And my tea bags ripped open while I was in there. So I'm gonna just take a bandana and pour through it. As long as I don't pour higher than the lip, it will stay inside. I almost touched past the lip, but it's all inside. This actually used to be the only way I used to do it. There we go. I'm just going to lift it straight out like a big tea bag. Let me grab my spoon. There it is. I'm gonna twist it and hold it still as I twist. And as you can see, the the liquid is coming out the bottom. And I can put some pressure on it, squeeze the rust out, and there we have it. Sugar? Where's that sugar? Probably on the bottom. Yep. Just a quick tip on filtering in the woods on the fly like that. I like to have some milk. So I fill this up, I use it every time. When I get home, I just you know, I use it up and I wash it out. And I let it dry, air dry, and put it back in my in my backpack for next time. And when I come back out, I just refill it up with milk. I use it every time. It's just enough milk to get by for three days in the woods, basically. And um, it's really slim, so it goes inside the pack really easy. So I just wanted to share this filtering style that I used to use all the time. I don't know if I ever made a video about it. I know a long time ago I made a video about using um, broom sedge, about using grass to filter coffee to catch the grinds. Well, there you have it. Beautiful. Mitch needs survival. See you in the next one. Use what you have. Improvise. Piece of cloth. Piece of clothing. Have a lot of uses. A lot of uses. See you in the next video. Cheers.